So I made this project where I filmed the video of a building in Tokyo, took a freeze frame from the video and made a 3D poster out of it in Blender. The main technique I used for this project was to project the image onto a simple 3D model like Ian Hubert does to make the illusion of a detailed 3D scene without putting too much effort into it. And a small disclaimer, this is more like an overview over how I did the project, not really a super in-depth tutorial, but I think it'll give you the right pointers to try the technique yourself. Let me show you how I did it. So the first thing you want to do is to of course uh, take a picture of something you want to bring into 3D. For example, I want to bring this building into 3D and then you want to download the program fspy. The link is fspy.io. So you just scroll down and download the program from here. You also need to add the fspy importer add-on for Blender. And after you install the add-on and the software, you can open up fspy and bring your image in. So the basics of fspy is to make these lines line up with lines in the picture. This helps program figure out which, what's the angle of the camera, what's the millimeter, basically the perspective and location of the camera. First you want to figure out if it's one or two vanishing points. In this picture it's, it's two because you see that the lines they go outwards into two points I guess. And some Im images only have one vanishing point. I can actually find an example here. Like this image has one vanishing point because every line go towards one point in the image instead of two. Well, this image has two vanishing points because the lines go in each direction into two points in the image. So you basically want to line these lines up with the lines in the image and make sure they have like a 90 degree angle difference on them, if that makes sense. For example, here you have the lines going this way and the red one goes on the lines going this way. Just have to make sure it's parallel with the other green line and the red line is parallel with the other red line. And of course, because here the road, it goes slightly upwards and it's not really perfectly straight. So the results we'll get in Blender will not be 100%. Uh, it kind of depends on the image, uh, but I think it's it will be good enough for our project. So we see that this red line, this goes like horizontally and we see that there's a line up here, which also goes the same way. Make sure it's lined up nicely. And then we have to find a similar line with the green one. Here we can choose for example this one, like this side that goes all the way over here. And we can already see that it's like, it's not perfect. This is a little bit like scooed. And because the street's kind of tilted upwards and perfectly straight, we will not get the perfect result, but we can also cheat a little and move some of the lines to make the, the Z axis line up with this electricity pole. So I'll just move this a little bit. This is good enough, I think. And when you're done, you'll just save it, control S and then just open Blender and make sure you have enabled the add-on. Just search for fspy and add-ons, enable it here, and then click File, Import, and look for fspy, so this one. Then just find your project, Camera Match, open this. It'll kind of make a small Blender project with the right camera and everything. And in theory, now you should be able to just create a cube and it will kind of line up with the scene. So if you move this over here, like, it's not perfect, but it's uh, it's good enough, I think. So what I would do now is to just model out this very simple model of the scene. The most important thing is like model out the things that are closest to the camera, I guess. Like these buildings in the background, they won't really move uh, with the parallax, so it's not too important to model them. But this building in the middle is kind of important to have a basic shape of. So yeah, I'll just make a cube, make sure it kind of lines up. It's not about being perfectly accurate, but making it good enough so it tricks the eyes. And then we'll just add some cuts and I'll see that this is really, really off. Move it with a little bit. Bring, yeah. And I think we can bring this down. And then select these sides, press I and hold control to bring this in. And now we have a very basic building. Uh, I think I'll just smooth this out. Go to normals, auto smooth, just to get it looking better. <laughs> also make this roof actually, like this, yeah. So now we have a simple version of this building and, and now we will add the modifier. If you go into modifiers, click on UV project and just select UV map, UV map, the default UV map. For the object, we will choose the camera because we're projecting from the camera. And now we can just add a texture, make a basic material, go into shader, make an image texture. And because we imported it from fspy, the image should already be here. Connect it into base color. And there we have the building, but it kind of looks, <laughs> it doesn't really fit. Uh, you, you can see that it doesn't line up with the image. So a quick way to fix this is just to add a subdivision surface 
move this over the UV project. Click on simple because we don't want to change the geometry. Put this on maybe like three, and but we can see that it still doesn't line up. And then we have to change these. You just have to change either the X or Y. And I think because I have a vertical format, uh, I have to move the Y axis. And we'll just move it until it lines up. I think that's good enough. And if we move, go here now, we can see that it's projected. It looks weird from the side, but from the front, it looks pretty good. Now we can even go into the render mode, like make the scene black. Maybe we can hide this and also the grid. So if you add a light now, we can already kind of light the scene with this inside. It looks kind of like a picture, but it already kind of feels detailed. We can also hack this a little bit more to make it look a little bit better. And so we can just add a like bump uh, node, connect the colors from the image into the height, connect the normal into normal, and this will just give a bump to this. And it, right now it's, I think the bump is too harsh. Maybe we can put this to like 0.2. Like it looks kind of weird now because of the bump, but this can help just give some more detail to it. Especially if you have smaller lights, it can kind of help make the image feel more 3D, like this. So this is basically how you bring an image into 3D and project texture onto it. And also if you want to model more shapes and you want to apply the textures to the other meshes also, you can just select the mesh, select the mesh with a projected texture, click Ctrl L and choose Link Materials and Ctrl L again copy modifiers and it will be projected. Now we can do kind of whatever you want just to make the scene look cooler. So I like to turn down the lights, say we put it on 50 and I like to bring out some lights. So what I do then is to kind of carve out some elements that could look cool with emission. So I think these look kind of cool. So say I want to put emission on these two and just select this mesh, extrude it out and make sure it lines up. Create another material and select the old one, duplicate it so we have the, the same settings. Select the faces you wanna add emission to and press assign. And then you just connect this into emission and it's emissive. So we click on render, it's already like lighting up. So I can actually go into my older project and I can show you some of the things I did. So for this render, I ended up changing the color of the image to make it more like stylized. And you can do this easily in Blender with a with a color ramp and then and just and just change the colors into whatever you want, like neon colors. And this is basically what I did, but I did it in ex external software and I changed the colors, which made it look more stylized. I also made this metal statue, which I use kind of the same method on. So if you look at this close up, it looks really bad, but from the camera, it kind of looks like a detailed statue. And what I did was do the same thing. I projected the texture onto it. I modeled basic shapes and then I plugged in the bump map and I made it metallic, turn on the roughness and it kind of looks like a statue. So yeah, that's basically it. I also made a YouTube short about how I made this image. So if you want to see that, I have it on my channel. And if you want to download this project file, I'll put a link in the description where you can download it. If you like this video, I'm posting a video like this every week, every two weeks or something. I really like experimenting in Blender and other programs and trying to find unique ways of creating art because there's so many ways to reach a goal and sometimes the ways can be very unusual. So yeah, I hope you like this video and uh, please subscribe if you want to see more.